we have an unbagging for you today and it's a special one. This is a sneaky peek from a company that I have never ever ordered from, received anything from, so I am so happy that they asked me to show this to you guys today. Um, this comes to us from Diamond Painting Fanatics. Uh, her name is Cindy and she's located in the UK. And if you order, she does ship worldwide. So the folks in the US uh, will get drop ship directly from China. But uh, the folks in the UK, they get sent to Cindy. She does a little pizzazz to them and she sends them out. So I just covered up my address, but everything came very, very nice, okay? Um, it's not a box. I can tell it's like a bubble. It's almost like a boot, I think they're called. It's like, so let's get into it. Now, like I said, this is a sneaky peek. Um, so thank you, Cindy, for sending this to me. I'm so happy to be showing you guys. I've been wanting to order from Cindy for a long time, but she told me she was gonna be sending this to me, so I was gonna wait. Um, so I will tell you the release date of this painting is June 19th. And the day that I'm filming this is June 10th. So I wanted to make sure y'all had plenty of time to see this, um, see if it's something you like. Check out her website. I'll have everything linked down below and check out what else she has because um, she's always got new stuff coming out all the time. She does have a YouTube channel. She does go live. So I'll have all that stuff linked down below. So yes, let's get into this. I don't know the image. The only thing I know is the, the name of the image, but I haven't seen anything. She wanted to get my real raw reaction. So that's what we're gonna get today. Only thing I know is it's called Mermaid of Flowers. That right there, I mean, I'm just like, okay, I'm gonna love it no matter, <laughs> no matter what. But okay, so let's get into it. All I've done so far is just slice this open to make it a little bit easier for us to get into. And it is very nicely wrapped. It looks like I said, no box. It looks like it just comes in this um, kind of just, oh, it's very well packed. So yeah, definitely not damaged whatsoever. I'm gonna shake out the bag just to make sure since I've never opened this up before, I've never opened up one of her paintings. Um, but yeah, so love this. This is keeps it very, very protected. So it just slides out. There's the canvas. Canvas feels nice. And then here we have the drills. Oh, I saw a little peek. Oh my goodness. Oh, and the toolkit. Okay, so you did get a basic toolkit in there. So yeah, love this. Packaged very, very nice. All right, let's look at the toolkit first before we start. This is just your basic toolkit, everything you need to get started. Ooh, I do see a seven placer. Okay, so you did get your diamond painting pen. And this is a thin white placer, which these are my favorites. So you have a seven placer if you wanna place more than one diamond at a time. And these do come off and you can replace them with different sizes. And it's got the brass tip. It does come with a really nice tray. Oh, this is a nice white tray, I like this. Got the spout, got nice deep lines. You've got your tray. Here's a squishy for your pen. Just slides right on there. I don't wanna struggle with it, but it will go on there. Pink wax, you get two pads of that, and then a pair of tweezers. And it looks like they are like the bent ones that have like the little rubber band on there to keep them tight from poking anything. So awesome. Okay, so that is a very basic toolkit, but that's all you need. I know a lot of us that have been dying painting for a while, we already kind of have a lot of our own favorite, you know, accessories to use. So. I actually don't even need a toolkit, to be honest, you know, but do appreciate it. And for those that are new, this is great. It's all you need to get started. All right, so that was very nice with the toolkit. So before we look at the drills, which I am seeing some ABs, um, let's go ahead and take a look at the canvas, okay? It did look like it had another rubber band on there in one end, but it looks like it fell off whenever I pulled it out of the package, um, the bubbler. So here is another rubber band. And it looks like there is like a little styrofoam, I call them pool noodles but to keep it from you know, getting smashed and shipping. So I'm just gonna slide that right out. Now this is poured glue and it is licensed artwork. That's the only thing I'll show on my channel is licensed artwork. That means that the artist is being paid for their artwork. So I really do appreciate companies that do that. All right, the canvas feels very, very soft. It's like a velvet, it's, very, it's like a soft lint is the best way I can describe it. I'm not sure the material, but it feels really, really nice. I have no idea if this is a round or a square, colors, other than what we see right here. But um, should we do the drill reveal? We'll do it after, because it didn't slide out like I'm used to. Y'all, things are in a different order today, but that's okay. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna make sure there's nothing else in there. Oh, there is, something else came out. Ooh, it looks like a sticker. Okay, we'll look at that in a sec. So what I do is, because this is poured glue, I just kind of grab the edge of my table to kind of just stretch it out and let it, you know, let the tension release since it's been rolled up. But yeah, it's laying really flat already. But what I do is um, I just roll it back on itself, which you can do with poured glue. Double-sided adhesive, no, no. Y'all, this is laying really flat. 
Okay, but I just have to do it for filming. Oh yeah, this is great. Very nice plastic. Okay, we'll take a tour of the canvas and we'll go through all the ins and outs of all the things. And again, this will be available on the 19th of June. Oh, I'm excited about this, y'all. Okay, we do know it's a mermaid, but that's all we know. All right, bam. Oh my gosh, look at this beautiful mermaid. Wow, look at the flowers. Now I see where it's called what it's called. Okay, let's take a gorgeous, y'all, just look at her. Look at her tail. It kind of curves right here. Beautiful, be so many blues. I am loving this. Hopefully there's not too much of a glare. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, let's take a look at the canvas. We'll take a little tour. It's called Mermaid of Flowers and it's a 50 by 80. I love that size. It's got, I am a diamond painting fanatic. So it's got her logo right there. It does have a legend with a thumbnail on the top right. So let's see, ooh, love this, Cindy. Okay, one is one, two is two. Let me bring it all up a little bit. Three is three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then nine is A. We've got A, C, D, F, G, H. Very, very nice, thank you. There are 47 colors. Love it, no strange symbols. Okay, and I'm not sure about A, Bs yet and all that good stuff. So we'll, we'll see that once we look at the drills. So again, legend up here. There is another legend on the bottom left. And then down here, it's got her website, diamondpaintingfanatics.com. And that must be the artist, I'm assuming. So yes, Feneria, Fenera. So yes, okay. This is beautiful. It's so um, lifelike. This rendering is amazing. Okay, let's check the stickiness. And then we'll check the drill field and all that. Let me bring you all in just a little bit so you can really see what I'm up to. Okay, so let's check this. Oh, yeah. Oh, very, very sticky. And the plastic is nice. It's not super thick, but that's okay. It's just the plastic. It's not super important to me. And it does go over. Now the edges are scalloped. See that? And poked. So that will um, help with fraying. It will not fray. This is really nice. Okay, let's look at her face. We'll look at the drill field and see the quality, um, see how clear, see if you can read the symbols. Yeah, you guys. Print it a little light than what, maybe what I'm used to, but um, it's just like the thickness of like the circles and the symbols, but they're very, very clear. Yeah, I'm not seeing any problems with this. This looks so good. I love this image. She knew exactly what to send me. Wow. But yeah, it looks like she's got all these flowers right here. She's got a beautiful, it looks, it looks almost like a necklace. Okay, let's take a look and see what else we get with this. It looks like there is a sticker sheet. Is this all sticker? I think so. It's got the legend. There she is, there's another picture of her. Look at her face, look at her, look at her hair. And the fish all around her at the bottom. Beautiful. But yeah, she does have a necklace on. Oh, she's so beautiful. Wow. Okay, so on here, it's only showing 32, oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, there's 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, and then there's four ABs, okay? Now, she did tell me that you can have ABs with or without. So, yeah, so there's four ABs in there. We'll have 413, 747, 818, and 996. And you've got all the information you need, so it is a round, okay? Let me just see if this, in fact, is a sticker this entire thing, it does look like one. I just wanna give you all, all the, all the information that I can. And you all get to see me struggle. Yeah, I think, I, I think I'm separating it now. The great thing about this, I love that it's an entire, the whole thing, yes, it is a sticker, you guys, look at that. Yep, it's a sticker. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this, the image out and put this in my logbook. Or you could put this on, um, you know, if you wanted to put like a storage tube to put it in or a box, um, you could put this on the side of it. So yeah, you can do a lot of different things with this. Or even put it on the storage container so you know what diamond painting it's going to. But yeah, I'm just gonna cut these out individually and put these on my storage container. All right, and it looks like there's another legend in here, maybe to do an audit. Ooh, the drills are individually bagged. Look at that, individually bagged. I really like that style of drills and look how uniform they are. Look at this color palette. Let's do the drill, reveal. If you love blues and greens, a little pop of purple, this is your painting. Wow, she is gorgeous. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see all of her again. 
All right, let's take a look in here. So the reason why I do like individually bagged um, drills, some folks like to work straight out of baggies, meaning you don't have to kit up and put anything in a storage container. So with that being said, um, you can just like put these in like a, a long storage container, just like pull straight from the baggies and you're not like dumping them into bags or to containers. So, and what I also do, make sure that y'all keep this bag. I almost, you know, what I do is I pull the drills out and I um, will pop it open or it just kind of props open. And that way I put all my trash in here like this. I just kind of, normally they always pop open. Yep. So just, if you're going to be moving these to a storage container, I just pop everything in there when I'm done. I don't keep the baggies, but these are nice baggies. They're nice and thick. And y'all, everything was in order. Love that. So you really can start just right off the bat. Okay, let's take a look and see what this is. This looks like flow diagram, okay. So this is a piece of paper, and this is where you can do an audit. Um, they tell you um, it's got the number, the symbol, the color, the DMC color, the weight of each bag, the quantity, and then the bag, like how many bags you got. So it looks like one bag of everything. So um, what I would do is I would get a, just a pen or pencil and just kind of mark off every single one, making sure I have all of them, okay? Okay, now let's take a look at these uh, nine, nine, let's see, this is 939. And this is the only time having a flat bottom is a good thing because they're gonna lay down really, really flat, but those looks, they look really good. I don't see any trash. I don't see anything with, you know, that has knobbly bits. These, the drills look really good. Yeah, they look really nice. Yeah, very, very flat bottoms. They're not staticky. I've noticed that there's no static. Um, they're not, you know, um, dirty. They're not um, like a dingy, like dusty looking. They're shiny. Okay, I did pause and I went ahead and did an audit and I have do have all the colors. So that's awesome news. Need all the colors. Let's go ahead and when I was going through the audit, I did find the four ABs. So let's go ahead and see where these ABs go. Uh, let's start off with this one. This is 818. It's like a very, very pale pink, almost like a white. It's very pretty. That's going to be uh, number 22, which if we look at our legend, 22 is the U, okay? Let's see. I'm thinking there's not gonna be very many because it's a small bag, but let's start at the top. Okay, I do see some of the flowers. I'm just gonna point them out to y'all right here. So there are some U's. I'm seeing them kind of sprinkled. Um, yeah, starting like right here. I see some over here. Um, are there any in her face? Yes, there's some right here. Let me bring y'all up enough. Yep, I see U. U and V is near each other, so just be real careful if you do get this one. So we need to watch that. Another one right here, there's a V and a U, so just be careful. But there's a U there. Uh, where else? So yeah, they're just, and there's some down here in her chin. So it's gonna be some of the flowers around here. Also on this side too. I do see some U's over here. So a little bit on, like kind of around her edge of her face and a few through the flowers. Oh, that's gonna be gorgeous. Let me see if I see any anywhere else on her chest, her shoulders. Nope, I think that's gonna be it. Okay, so just really right here. Perfect. All right, so that's the first AB. And then, where'd you go? Okay, it's trying to hide for me. And then the next one, let's go with this one, pretty. This is 747, it's like a seafoam green. We've got a little yellow one I'm trying to hide in there. So AB, forgot to tell you guys, if you don't already know, it stands for Aurora Borealis. And it's, you can tell there's a special coating on these drills um, that makes them sparkle just a little bit brighter. This is a good size bag. So 15, that is the J. Okay, let's see. All right, I'm seeing these symbols right off the bat. That's really good news because this is the first time I've looked for these symbols. Yeah, so I'm seeing J right here kind of outlining this area. I see J's here. Oh, there's a lot of J's. Okay, this whole entire area right here, do y'all see all those J's? Yeah, all through here is all J's. Oh, that's gonna be gorgeous. Okay, so definitely, and then also through here. So we kind of see, um, yeah, the blue water up here, the lighter blue, that's gonna be this color. That's gonna be really pretty. I also see some um, over here in the water. Let's see, I'm looking, oh, I do see some in her top. I see some J's sprinkled around the edges right here of her top and on this side. Let's 
see, is there any more? Yes, there's some down here, some J's. There's some sprinkled down here in this water. Wow, they're gonna be all over. It's in her tail. Okay, yeah, this isn't the water. This is her tail right here. Yeah, wherever you see a lot of this white area right here, through her tail, that's gonna be this color. Oh, that's gonna look so good. All right, I really do like that. That's perfect. Okay, and then the next one is 996. Really, really pretty blue. It looks like just the backslash symbol. Yeah, that was my bad. I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> okay, I see it now. All right, so it's this symbol right here. It's just the little blue backslash. It is uh, highlighting, I see some here, all through here. So it's gonna be that darker blue, kind of highlighting some of that seafoam green that's in there, right here in this blue. Oh, this is gorgeous. Love this painting, you guys. Absolutely stunning. Oh, wow. Okay, all the blues right here are gonna be this sprinkled in there. So you're gonna have this in her tail, and then this is gonna be to the side in her tail. Wow, okay, that is so cool. All right, there's one more AB. This is 413, and it is seven, and a seven is a seven. Love that. Really, really do appreciate it when companies do that. Okay, and it almost looks like a, it really color shifts. It looks like a gray, green, but I'm looking at the bottoms and the bottoms are gray to me. 413 is a gray, so yeah, kind of a brownish gray. Pretty color. Okay, so seven. Oh, yep, I see some in her neck. That's gonna be interesting. Okay, yep, there's sevens through here. See sevens down here in her necklace. Uh, let's see if there's any in her top. It's not a very big bag. It's still a good size bag though. Let me see if there's any. Oh yeah, there's some in her hair. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, I see sevens here and here. It will be on this side of her hair, yep. I see some sprinkled on this side of her hair. It's gonna be pretty. Ooh, ooh la la. Pretty lady. We need to name her, I'm thinking. Okay, I see sevens down here as well, in this area. Sevens over here. It's almost like, I think her hair comes all the way down. Is that right? Yeah, looks like it's gonna be in her hair. And let me see if I see anywhere else. I'm going down, going down. I love her tail, y'all. This is just gonna be the coolest. It's gonna look so good when it's done. Yes, and I love this size, it's a great size. Yeah, very nice. It's checking all the boxes. Um, I think Cindy over at Dime Pink Fanatics did an awesome job, y'all. Um, yeah, stickiness felt really good. And I wanna start working on her. She is beautiful. Look at that face. Faces sometimes are hard to render and I think they did a wonderful job on this. Yeah, now that I'm looking at the drill field again, y'all, it's really, really clear. Look at that. Wow. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. I'm so happy with this. Um, so that's it for this video. So again, go check out Diamond Painting Fanatics. I'll have them linked down below. This particular one, this sneak peek, this new release will be released on June 19th. So set your calendars. If this is something you're interested in, go check out her other artwork. Go check out her YouTube channel and all the things so you stay connected. And also she's on Instagram too. So I'll try to connect all her socials down below. And that's gonna be it. So if y'all enjoyed this and wanna see more diamond painting content, give me a thumbs up. They really do help. And if you've not subscribed, I would love to have you. It is free to subscribe. So just click on that subscribe button down below. And then there's a notification bell right next to that. Click on the notification bell and then you'll get notified whenever I post up any new videos. All right, y'all have a great rest of your day, evening, morning. Um, I love you, take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye guys.